Coming up, it's the High School Quiz Show quarterfinals with Advanced Math and Science Academy. <laughs> Taking on the Lexington High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. You can file a claim. You can pay your bill. Safety's mobile app helps you manage life storms for your auto, home, and business. Ask an independent agent about safety insurance. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host, and today's matchup is the first of our quarterfinal rounds. We are down to the final eight teams, and the competition is getting intense. And the goal, as always, is to become the next high school quiz show state champion. And before we meet the teams, if you're watching at home, it's time to grab your mobile phone, your tablet, or your laptop so you can play along with us live right now. And if you think you have what it takes to earn a spot, on the leaderboard, uh, log in right now at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. Now, today's quarterfinal matchup has Advanced Math and Science Academy from Marlboro taking on Lexington High School. So let's get right to it and meet the teams. From Advanced Math and Science, we have Amulia, Joel, Megna, and Abhinav. Let's hear it for Advanced Math and Science. And uh, on the Lexington team, we've got Colin, David, Aren, and David. Let's hear it for Lexington High. <laughs> the competition has four rounds. A toss-up round, a head-to-head -head round, a category round, and, of course, the lightning round. We start with the toss-up round, and all answers are worth 10 points. And this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. As a reminder, there is no conferring, and you'll need to wait until the complete question has been read before you can buzz in. So, if everybody is ready to go, let's start the game. And by the way, good luck. Quarterfinals. Amerigo Vespucci, the first explorer to identify the New World as a continent, was born in what country? Abinav. Italy. Yes. In October 2013, reports surfaced that U.S. intelligence may have targeted the cell phone of what German chancellor? Aren. Angela Merkel. Yes. What spectacular waterfall located on the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe is about twice as wide and deep as Niagara Falls? Aren. Victoria Falls. Yes. What slightly cooler area on the surface of the sun appears as a dark patch that grows and fades? Abinav. Sunspot. Yes. In 2012, Facebook spent a billion dollars to purchase what mobile photo sharing app? Yes, Joel. Instagram. Yes. Consisting mainly of quartz, feldspar, and mica, what type of igneous rock is the official state rock of New Hampshire? Yes, Colin. Granite. That is correct, the Granite State. Uh, in the 1922 decision Lesser versus Garnett, the U.S. Supreme Court unanimously upheld what constitutional amendment that guaranteed the right of women to vote? Yes, Colin. 20th? No. Advanced math? Joel. 19th. That is correct. What type of diabetes was once known as insulin-dependent or juvenile diabetes? Yes, Magna. Type 1. That is correct. Your next question is going to be up on the video screen, so take a look. Greetings. My name is David Hewlett, but you probably know me better as McKay, Dr. Rodney McKay from Stargate Atlantis. Here's my question. My passion and love of science fiction was sparked by the long-running British television series Doctor Who. Now, since the 1960s, the Doctor has been battling what evil mutants that look like robots and want to destroy humanity? Yes, Amolia. Daleks. That is correct, and we'll move on. Uh, during his reign from 1682 to 1725, what czar instituted cultural and political reforms that helped turn Russia into a major European power? Yes, Joel. Peter the Great. That is correct. In 2001, 
Uh, Jonathan Franzen got into a dispute with what talk show host when his novel The Corrections was selected for her book club? Yes, I'll be not. Oprah? Yes. Most uh, earthquakes occur within which of the following layers of the earth? Is it A, the crust, B, the mantle, C, the outer core? Yes, Amelia. The crust. That's correct. Math question. A box contains five apples and ten oranges. If you reach in and pull out exactly one fruit, what's the probability in lowest terms it will be an orange? Yes, Amelia. Two-thirds. Yes. Uh, all this happened, more or less. The war parts anyway are pretty much true. Who wrote this at the beginning of his novel, Slaughterhouse-Five? Yes, David. Kurt Vonnegut? Yes. What star of the television series Scandal is the first African-American actress to lead a network drama in nearly 40 years? Yes, Colin. Kerry Washington. Yes. Uh, who pioneered the orbital theory of the atom through his famous gold foil experiment? Yes, Amelia. Rutherford. Yes. Uh, named for a Dutch-American astronomer, what belt is a flat ring of small, icy bodies that revolve around the sun beyond the orbit of Neptune? Yes, Aran. Kuiper belt? Yes. And your next question is from the Nova Secret Life of Scientists and Engineers web series. Check it out. Here it comes. Hi, I'm Myron Rule, former NFL player, Rhodes Scholar, and current medical student. And here is my question. What region of the brain that's shaped like a seahorse is responsible for processing memory? Yes, Magna. The hippocampus. Yes, that is correct. And by the way, NFL player, Rhodes Scholar, excuse me. Uh, this is a very highbrow show. Uh, which of the following states does not border Kentucky? Is it A, Tennessee, B, Georgia, or C, Ohio? David. Georgia? Yes. Everyone is entitled to a chance. Who said this in lifting the military's ban on women in combat in January 2013 when he was U.S. Secretary of Defense? Yes, Colin. Leon Panetta? Yes. Founded in 1971. What political party that favors civil liberties is the third largest party by membership in the U.S.? Yes, Colin. Libertarian Party? Yes. Uh, the chemical formula. H3PO4 refers to what acid that's added to many sodas? Yes, David. Phosphoric acid? Yes. And now a math question. Uh, a customer buys a used car with a down payment of $5,000 and 12 monthly payments of $250. What is the total price of the car? Yes, a rent. $8,000? Yes. Uh, real teen cancer survivors were cast for a 2014 film adaptation of what John Green novel about a young cancer patient named Hazel? Yes, Magna. The Fault in Our Stars. Yes. In 1894, in a scandal fueled by anti-Semitism, what Jewish officer in the French army was falsely accused of selling secrets to Germany? Yes, Joel. Dreyfus. Yes. Uh, the word sauna originated in what Nordic country of approximately 5 million people and 2 million saunas? Yes, David. Finland. Yes. In 1789, what American founding father wrote in a letter to a friend, in this world nothing can be said to be certain except death and taxes? Yes, Aaron. Ben Franklin. Correct. Uh, on March 10th, 1922, who was arrested and charged with sedition for leading a campaign of civil disobedience against British rule in India? Yes, Amelia. Gandhi. Yes. Uh, oh, and there's the bell. Ending round one. We take a look at the score right now. Advanced Math and Science, 150 points. Lexington High, 130 points. Let's hear it. We've got a close... <laughs> Competition here, quarterfinal round. Okay, so the head-to-head -head round is up next. First, we'd like to take a little break in the action to get to know our players, and the way we do that is they give me a question that I ask of all of you. So here it comes, and we'll go one at a time. Uh, besides cost... What are the most important factors that will influence your college selection process? And Amulia, we'll start with you. In a university, I'm looking for one with good prestige, excellent technology, and computer science programs, because I want to do computer science, and of course, a phenomenal quiz bowl team. Wow, is that all? <laughs> How about you, Joel? 
it has to have a good um, geography program or international relations program, and um, it has to be up north because I can't live without the snow. That, that's okay. Sure. By the way, I can. Uh, Magna, how about you? I'm looking for a school that has strong programs in both math and the classics, mm -hmm. and I want to stay on either one of the coasts. Okay, and uh, Abhinav? I'm looking for a college located in like an urban area, um, and it has like a larger school, and on the west coast because of the good climate. Okay, so you haven't chosen yet though? Not right? yet. Okay, and we go over to Lexington High School. We'll start with you, Colin. Um, well, I'm a freshman, so I'm not really thinking about <laughs> colleges just yet. But I think maybe like something close to Boston so I can watch all the Boston sports teams on television still. There you go. And also something bigger than Lexington High School. <laughs> <laughs> and it probably will be. Uh, David, how about you? I'm just generally looking for some, somewhere with like a good quality of education, but I also want to go somewhere down south where the climate is better. Okay. Uh, Aren? For me, it's got to have opportunities abroad to study what I want to study. Oh, good. Very good. And David? Uh, I'm looking for a school with a nice sports culture and also a school with good food. All right. Very good. Now, here's the deal on uh, the head-to-head -head round, and you probably know it. You've been here. Uh, each team chooses a player to come forward and go head to head. So advanced math, who's it going to be? Abhinav, okay. Lexington High. We're going with the freshman. All right. So Abhinav, call and stand by. We're going head to head. Let's go. All right. The head to head round is next. I've got Abhinav, the sophomore, to my right, Colin, the freshman, to my left. It's okay. You guys can shake hands. Go ahead. Uh, the head to head round is 90 seconds. You will get 10 points for correct answers. You will lose 10 points for incorrect answers. And by the way, you can buzz in as soon as you know the answer. So if you guys are ready, the clock is set, and so am I. And uh, here we go. By tradition, what country goes first in the Parade of Nations at Olympic opening ceremonies? Yes. Greece. Yes. Name the lowest prime number. Yes. Two. Yes. In 2013, the Red Sox won their eighth World Series by defeating what team? Yes, Colin. The, um, the St. Louis Cardinals. Yes. Uh, Walt Whitman wrote, oh, Captain, my captain, about what president's death? Yes, Colin. Abraham Lincoln. Yes. Uh, what bone that begins with the letter S is commonly known as the shoulder blade? Yes. Scapula. Yes. Preservation Hall is a musical venue in what U.S. city that calls itself the birthplace of jazz? Yes, Colin. New Orleans. Yes. Uh, what 1862 U.S. Act offered 160 acres to settlers? Yes. The Homestead Act. Yes. In 2013, who won re-election as governor of New Jersey? Yes. Chris Christie. Yes. Uh, what element has the lowest melting point and boiling point? Did he make? Yes, you're in. Give it a shot. Uh, uh, hydrogen. No, helium. Uh, the Affordable Care Act is based on the 2006 health reform legislation of what U.S. state? Yes, Colin? Massachusetts. Yes. In 2013, war-torn Syria saw an outbreak of what disease that crippled Franklin Roosevelt? Yes, Polio. Colin. What is it? Polio. Yes. Uh, the New Hampshire cities Concord, Manchester, and Nashua lie along what river? Yes. The Connecticut River. No, Merrimack River. In 2015, women will be allowed to vote for the first time in what country ruled by King Abdullah? Yes, Jordan. Colin. No, Saudi Arabia. Oh, and there's the bell ending the head-to-head -head round. Uh, the score right now, advanced math and science, 150 points. Lexington High School, 200 points. This is still a very close competition. Let's hear it for both teams, both players. Abhinav, head back to your team. Colin, head back to your team. Yes! Next up, for the contestants here in the studio and for all of you playing at home, it's the category round. And we've got six categories, and here they are. Have a heart, neither here nor there, old school, Charles in charge, don't mess with Texas, and night at the museum. Each category has five questions with increasing point values, so there is a lot at stake, as always, in this round, and you can confer with teammates in this round, but you'll need to wait for the complete question to be read before you buzz in. Once you do, you are no longer able to confer, and we will need your answer. Now, advanced math and science, you have just a little ground to make up, so you'll get to choose the first category, and what's it going to be? Texas. Don't mess with Texas. 
And uh, these are questions about Texas. For 10 points, uh, the big Texan restaurant home of the 72-ounce steak is located in what major cattle city whose name means yellow in Spanish? Abina. Amarillo. That is correct. So you'll keep the board, advanced math. What's it going to be? Texas. Texas for 15. George W. Bush was once an owner of what American League baseball team based in Arlington, Texas? Yes, Texas David. Rangers. Yes, and now, Lexington, you've got the board category. We'll stay with Domestic. Why Texas. not for 20 points? What long serving governor of Texas sought the Republican nomination for president in 2012? Yes, I read. Rick Perry. Rick Perry is right. You keep the board, Lexington. We'll stay with Texas. For 25 points, for 13 days in 1836, Davy Crockett and a small band of roughly 200 men defended the Alamo against a much larger force commanded by what Mexican general? Magna. Santa Ana. Yes, and advanced math, you've got the board back. Stick. With we'll stick for 30 points. Flags from six different nations have flown over Texas. They are Spain, France, Mexico, the Republic of Texas, the United States, and what else? Yes, I'll be done. Confederate flag. Correct. Category? Charles, Charles in charge. In charge. Charles in charge. These are questions about people named Charles. Uh, for 10 points, big sisters are the crabgrass in the lawn of life. This quote is attributed to what creator of the Peanuts comic strip? Yes, I'm right. Charles Schultz. Yes, and you've got the board Lexington category. We'll stick with Charles. 15 points. The voyage of the Beagle has been by far the most important event in my life and has determined my whole career. Who wrote this in his autobiography? Yes, Joel. Charles Starwin. That is it. And now Advanced Math has the board category. Stick with it. For 20 points. Uh, what retired professional basketball player nicknamed the Round Mound of Rebound is an analyst on the television program Inside the NBA? Yes, Aaron. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley. You've got the board Lexington category. We'll stick with Charles. 25 points. What British king known as the Merry Monarch was restored to the throne in 1660 after years of exile during the Puritan Commonwealth? Joel. Charles II. And now you've got the board advanced math category. Charles. We're going for 30. Uh, the modern jazz style known as bebop is associated with what great American saxophonist named Yardbird or simply Bird? Yes, David. Charles Parker. That is right. And now Lexington gets the board category. Old school. Old school. Uh, questions about schools and for 10 points. In 1973, Robin Williams and Christopher Reeve were among the 20 students accepted into the freshman class at what performing arts school in Manhattan? Colin? Juilliard. Ju Ju Juilliard? Correct. You've got the board, Lexington, category? We'll stick with the old school. Uh, old school for 15, Venice High School in Los Angeles was used as the location for what high school in the 1978 film Grease? Call it. Rydell High School. Rydell High. Uh, Lexington, you've got the board category. Old school. Old school for 20. The prestigious Rhodes Scholarship is an educational grant to study at what English university that was founded before 1167? Uh, Aran. Oxford. Yes, Oxford. And you keep the board Lexington category. We'll stick with the old school. Okay, for 25 points, John Kerry and George W. Bush were members of the secretive Skull and Bones Society at what Ivy League school? Aran. Yale. Yes, and a category? Finish up the old school. 30 points. England's Prince William went to what elite boarding school that has produced an astonishing 19 British prime ministers, including David Cameron? David. St. Andrews? No. Advanced math. Megna. Eton. Eton College is right. Advanced math has the board. You'll need a new category. Night at the Museum. Night at the Museum. Night, Night at the Museum. Night at the Museum. Questions about museums for 10 points. Sometimes called America's Attic, what Washington, D.C. institution founded in 1846 is the world's largest museum and research complex. Yes, Abina. Smithsonian. Yes, category? Museum. 15 points in October 2013, one year after Superstorm Sandy. The Immigration Museum reopened at what historic island in Upper New York Bay? Yes, David. Ellis Island. Correct. You've got the board back, Lexington category. Uh, we'll keep it at the Museum. 20 points. What band is the subject of a new museum in Stockholm that includes a disco floor and a replica of the cottage where hits like Dancing Queen were written? Colin. ABBA. ABBA. You've still got the board. We'll stick with Night at the 25 <laughs> points. In 2013, a David Bowie retrospective set a record for fastest selling show at what London Museum named for Britain's longest reigning monarch and her husband? Yes, Joel. Victoria. 
No, we need the, yes. Albert, Albert and Victoria Museum. No, the answer is the Victoria and Albert Museum. Lexington, you've got the board category. The Ninth Museum. 30 points. Renaissance masterpieces like Botticelli's Primavera are at what gallery in Florence, Italy, that's one of the oldest and most visited art museums in the world? Yes, I'll be done. The Uffizi. That is correct. And now you've got the board advanced math category. Neither here. Neither here nor there. Uh, questions about fictional places for 10 points. Uh, the White Witch has ruled for 100 years of winter in what mythical country in The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis? Yes, Amulia. Narnia. Narnia is right. Category? We'll stick with it. We're staying there for 15 points. Uh, what fictional American city in books published by DC Comics is best known as the home of Batman? David? Gotham City. Gotham City is right. Lexington, you've got the board. Stick with it. 20 points. Uh, in the Harry Potter series, the Shrieking Shack is a famous haunted house in what village that is the only all-wizarding village in Britain? Yes, Joel. Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade is right. You've got the board, Advanced Math. We'll stick with it. 25 points. What fictional town in Prince Edward Island is the setting of Lucy Maud Montgomery's novel, Anne of Green Gables? Avonlea is uh, the answer, or Avonlea. Category advanced math? Stick with it. Okay, for 30 points. Thornton Wilder's play Our Town is set in the fictional town of Grover's Corners in what U.S. state? Colin? New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Uh, Lexington, there's only one category left, so we're going to go there. It's called Have a Heart. These are questions about the human heart, and for 10 points, humans, like all mammals, normally have a heart composed of how many chambers? Yes, Abhinav. Four. Correct. For 15 points. What two-word Latin term refers to either of the two large veins that return oxygen-depleted blood to the right atrium of the heart? Yes, Aran. The vena cava. Yes. Uh, this time for 20 points. The upper chambers of the human heart are called the atria, and the lower chambers are called the what? Yes, David. Ventricles. Yes, for 25 points. Derived from the Latin word for partition. What's the name of the inner wall that divides the heart into left and right sides? Yes, Arendt. Septum. That is correct. And, oh, oh, I wanted to get that final question in, but that is the, the buzzer, the bell ending the category round. Uh, the score right now, advanced math and science, 340 points. Lexington High School, 450 points. Let's make some noise for both teams. This is still a competition here in the quarterfinal round. Before we uh, move on, we do have a correction to make. In the category round, Lexington conferred on the Juilliard answer after they had buzzed in. So we are subtracting uh, 10 points from their score. So the current score is advanced math, 340 Lexington High, 440 as we head in to the final 90 seconds of gameplay. This is the lightning round. Here you will get 20 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers, you will lose 20, and you can buzz in as soon as you think you know the answer. The clock is set, and here we go with the lightning round. Name the only U.S. president to serve two non-consecutive terms. Over yes, Cleveland. Yes. An absurd no-win choice can be described by what book title by Joseph Hell? Yes, David. Catch-22. Yes. Which of Newton's laws of motion is often referred to as the law of inertia? Amulia. The first law. Yes. In November 2013, Typhoon Haiyan, devastated. Philippines. He, the Philippines is correct. Uh, who plays newspaper tycoon Charles Foster Kane in the 1941 film? Yes, Joel. Orson Welles. Yes. Uh, from 1949 to 1990, what was the provisional capital city of West Germany? Yes, Arendt. Uh, Bonn? Yes. In biology, the product of the union of two gametes is known as the what? Yes, Amelia? Zygote. Yes. Uh, what river that extends about 2,900 miles through Africa was formerly known as the Zaire River? Uh, Congo yes. River. Yes. Uh, the proverb, perfect is the enemy of the good, is attributed to what French author of Candide? Yes. Voltaire. Yes. Uh, the Vichy regime was established in France during? Yes. Abinard. The World War II. Yes. Uh, the mystery of Edwin Drood is the final unfinished novel. Charles he Dickens. Yes. Uh, what is the northernmost of the three Baltic states? Abinard. Estonia. Yes. What element used in certain electric and fluorescent lamps is abbreviated KR? Yes. Krypton. Yes. Uh, in population and area, what chain of coral islands in the Indian Ocean is the smallest country in Asia? Yes, Joel. Maldives. Yes. Uh, the long gray line refers to the Corps of Graduates at what? Ooh. Okay. That's the bell. That ends uh, the game. 
the winner this week, Lexington High School. Woo, final score. Advanced math, 480 points. Lexington High, 580 points. Let's hear it, both teams. Make some noise. And uh, the winner now moves on to the semifinals. But that's it for now. We will see you all next week on High School Quiz Show. Make some noise. Play along with High School Quiz Show every week at highschoolquizshow.org slash play live. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Life is full of surprises. Some good, some not so good. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance's enhanced coverage for auto, home, and business so you don't get caught by surprise. Safety Insurance will help you manage life storms. Bank of America is proud to support High School Quiz Show and committed to education initiatives throughout Massachusetts, including citizen schools, Teach for America, and local boys and girls clubs. For more information, you can visit bankofamerica.com slash Boston. The Daleks. Destroy, destroy, exterminate, 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 exterminate! A production of WGBH.